I'd recommend staying away from those two cases. Four boxes of set six of the One Piece card game. And we're gonna strip them all here today while we talk about tooth whitening. For this series of shrippums for set six, I thought I'd just talk about some dental advice the whole time while I'm shrippum -ing. You know, instead of just doing a little tip at the end, why not learn about your teeth the whole time? And I thought I'd pick some topics that I think people are interested in learning about. So, bless them. Let's get into it. I think tooth whitening is a worthwhile thing. And the reason why I think it's a worthwhile thing is because the way your teeth look impacts how you are. And I guess that comes with a caveat. Tooth whitening is a worthwhile thing if it's something that you care about. A lot of people don't care about it. And if you don't care about it, it doesn't matter. Whiteness of your teeth doesn't actually make them healthier or stronger. It actually makes them a little unhealthier if you don't do it properly. So the way that whitening works is it's essentially drying out your teeth or it's um, you know pulling, pulling stuff out of your teeth or bleaching your teeth, which is not really super healthy for the outside layer of your teeth or the enamel. The enamel is the outside layer of your teeth and you have dentin inside that, which is not as strong. And then you have the pulp inside that. And you don't really want to weaken your enamel, but there's ways to go about whitening that can keep your enamel stronger. So there's certain systems that don't affect it quite as much, like Opalescence Go. And I've been learning about, oh, interesting, they made her hair foil. You see how you kind of like lose the hair in that? I've been not making hair foil more recently these days. So if you guys are listening, um, you know, maybe, maybe make the hair opaque. Um, but yeah, so if you're going to whiten your teeth, it's also worth strengthening your teeth. And the way you do that is with fluoride. So by implementing some sort of fluoride routine into your tooth care routine, either with it, if it's a rinse, ooh, there's that shanks. Wow, that's my boy, I've been looking for him. Who drew that? That is uh, Akira Igawa. Oh, that's the guy that did the set one Zoro. And I think he also did the Luffy that's on the box of uh, set two. Very cool. That's a sick alt art, wow. Very, very hype. I like his style. Well, I'm glad that Shanks alt is cool. I don't remember what that card does. I think it like KOs something 10k power or gives something minus 10k power. Or whatever it is, but very strong. Very, very strong, cool card. I think, it, I think it removes a 10k power monster. And it's a 12k power card, so pretty dang strong, Shanks. Um, yeah, but you want to make sure that you are strengthening your teeth while you're weakening them, essentially. Now, I know I'm sitting here talking about why whitening your teeth is dangerous for your teeth, but I think really if you have whiter teeth and it makes you feel proud, it makes you feel happy about your teeth, you like the way they look, it can really be a good thing in the long run where you know your teeth do affect your mood. A lot of times I'll fix people's teeth, I'll fix their smile, and they end up getting that job interview or they end up getting that raise or they end up getting that thing that helps them move up in life. And I think taking the time to do that is definitely worthwhile. Lesson. Is it an all thought leader? No, it's not. It's probably nothing in here. Salt Brook. Um, so I think taking the time to consider that and doing it in a way where you're still protecting your teeth and not just destroying them completely uh, is wise. I do not really like charcoal toothpaste. I think if you need to use them in a pinch or once in a long while, they can be all right to get an abrupt whitening. But I think something to consider, bless them. Oops, forgot to put my pirate logo in the background that happens sometimes you know when you're just shripping me bless him like a madman it's the best it can happen from time to time but yeah you want to make sure that you're you're implementing some strengthening protocol into your whitening protocol so don't just do one it's worthwhile doing both and do some research on a system that works for you i think it's worth talking to your dentist about what you think might work best for you and you can learn about what that is or what that looks like and do it responsibly in a in a way that's beneficial so that's my little bit on whitening and i do want to just talk about dentistry in these videos because i think people have been really enjoying the dental perspective and honestly i don't even know what any of these cards do i'm just stripping them I, I have a vague idea of what some of them do like the yamato leader i think i have an idea of what that card does i also don't look at any of the cards because i want to be excited about when i look at them when the set actually comes out so I just strip them like a madman. I just rip them, strip them, and don't stop. Can't stop until I keep seeing them. Um, and I think on the note of whitening, something that's worthwhile while I was talking about toothpaste. There's a lot of toothpaste out there that don't have fluoride in them. I'd recommend staying away from those toothpastes. I think getting something with fluoride in it. I really like Pronamel. Pronamel is the toothpaste that I recommend to my patients 
regardless of what your dental situation is. I mean, you might need something with prescribed fluoride, like a little bit more fluoride in your toothpaste. That definitely is something that some people need. But pro mammal, oh, alt art leader. Who's gonna be Yamato? Yamato, just like that. That's how you summon Yamatos when you look at the back. That's definitely the leader I want the most, but I also have pulled one, so I'd like to pull something else. And there should still be an alt art in here. I wonder if the, no, the, yeah, I don't think the alt art Zoros can be in this. I think since the alt art Zoros is secret, it's gonna take a secret slot. I've noticed that's the trend of how, card, here's our alt art, yeah, Kami. Pulled one of those already also, but that's all right. I've noticed that's the trend um, of the cards. Uh, actually, I don't know what the God Pack distribution is, so I also don't feel safe just leaving them sealed because I'll never know if it could possibly be a God Pack. I know, I doubt that you can get an Alt Art Leader and a God Pack. I'd assume that the God Pack takes the Alt Art Leader slot, but I also heard there was a case with two Manga Zoros in it, so I think this set's weird. I think there's some weird stuff going on in this set. Anyway, back to Pro Enamel. While I put these cards away in the box, and we're on the box number three out of four. Pornamel's great because it has um, potassium nitrate and stannous fluoride in it. And the reason why those are good is because they catalyze the reaction of the fluoride to the enamel, shrimp them, and they get it to bind to the high hydroxy appetite a little bit more effectively. So when you use a toothpaste that has um, an agent that, that that uh, kind of catalyzes and helps the reaction of the, the fluoride with the enamel, then you're gonna get more bonding of that uh, fluoride to the enamel. And why the fluoride is good is it essentially strengthens the enamel. So it's almost like you're growing a, another enamel on top of the enamel, like giving the enamel a helmet. And the enamel will protect your tooth, so you wanna keep that um, healthy. Because the way that decay works is basically when you have like some, ooh, a vin, a vin smoke alt art. Very nice. Is there anything cool going on on this one? Nah, nothing too crazy. Very rad. And that's probably gonna be the only hit for this box, unless there's a unless there's a, there, I think there's one box with a with an alt art and a secret rare per box. That's why I noticed in the last case. I don't know if it'll be the same in this case. But the way that decay works is if you have like sugar or carbohydrates or anything like that on your teeth, when those things stick to your teeth, they attack bacteria. When the bacteria digest those, they produce acid and that acid breaks down the enamel. Once the enamel is broken down, the dentin inside the tooth has all these tubules in it. So there's all this place where bacteria can kind of slide in and start having a party and they eat more of the nutrients. And if the bacteria gets to the pulp, then you need a root canal. So you wanna really try and avoid that because when you get a root canal, the inside nerve of the tooth has to be removed and then the tooth is no longer alive. Now it's good to try and keep that root in your mouth because the root has a connection to the bone around the root that's keeping it in the mouth called the periodontal ligament. And that periodontal ligament sends nervous impulses when it flexes to your brain. And that nervous impulse tells your brain, hey, this food is crunchy, this food is solid, this food is soft. And that's a really important part of eating is having that proprioceptive information so you can enjoy the experience of eating as much as possible. So while keeping the root in the mouth I think is valuable, it's also worthwhile considering and understanding that you wanna try and prevent that if at all possible. And brushing your teeth and having strong teeth is the best way, I think, to prevent that. Also, you know, regular visits to your dentist, getting checkups, stuff like that, I think is very worthwhile. It's good to invest in your teeth, I think. You know, there's something you use every day, and a lot of people don't think about how insane, bless them, the mouth really is. It's this really crazy environment where, you know, you're putting this wide range of acidities, and temperatures, and pressures. When I, when I had to go to, when I went to dental school, you know, I had to take prerequisite classes before. I take a bunch of science classes. And one of the prerequisite classes was physics. I was like, you kidding me? Why don't I take physics? I'm becoming a dentist, right? Like, what am I doing with physics? But dental physics are insane. You really gotta understand a lot about physics to understand what's going on in the mouth. If you think about the way that your jaw works, it's this hinge that can exert these insane forces, so much pressure, understanding the angles of teeth, why they're at those angles, the type of forces they exert, the types of forces that are exerted on the mouth over time, the 
you know, like if you if you pour coffee in your mouth, you can drink it when it's hot. But for whatever reason, if you pour that hot coffee on your hand, it'll burn your hand. And even if you burn your mouth, like that tissue heals really fast. So the mouth is very very resilient. You know, it's our first uh, it's the entrance to the world. It's the thing we explore the world with when we're babies. So it's really important to, to take care of it. Go easy on it. Don't go too crazy with things in your mouth. You gotta take good care otherwise you're gonna end up with a problem and you don't want problems you know what they say mo mo less well taken care teeth of mo problems i think that's i think that's how the old saying goes i wonder is it just i feel like it's just gonna be a secret rare in this box i have a feeling secret zombie is on the way if i had to guess i would guess that it's a Sanji secret that's in this box. We haven't seen one yet from this case, so it feels like we're about due for one. That's sometimes how it works. I think I only got one. No, I got one and uh, Altar in the last case that I opened. But it looks like there's a lot of Zoros, which is cool. You know, who doesn't like pulling Zoro cards? That always feels like a win. Big win. Big winner. Chicken dinner. Whoa, no Alt Arts yet. But is it in the Blessum? It's either in this or it's in the Blossom. Yes, it's in the Blossom. This is it. It's going to be in this pack. There's something really shiny in this pack. And it's going to be a Manga Zoro. No, Gecko Moria. Very cool. Sick. Heard this deck's kind of crazy. Infinite resources. Sweet. Well, thanks for checking it out. You know, I also do make some shiny cards, Kaizoku cards. This is one of my more recent cards. It's uh, Sakazuki. Kainu is a really good leader. And I did this thing, uh, actually, HZ19 and I worked together on these. And you can see the, like, marine logo in there. And there's another Kainu hidden in the background. But this is an eternal card, so it'll always be in print. KaizokuCards.com. Check it out. Thanks for coming by. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>